Now, these jellyfish might look quite harmless, but would you put your hand in there? No thanks. Jellyfish hurt more people than sharks or killer whales. But one inventor claims he has the answer. A cream which could make stings a thing of the past. Katie Knappman investigates. This beach may look like the perfect place to come to on a sunny day. Nice soft sand, beautiful ways to surf in. But the sea isn't always as inviting as it looks. Many of the regulars who come down here have at one time or another been stung by a jellyfish. It hurts like crazy. It's like a whole bunch of pins sticking you all at once. My leg just like lit on fire. It swelled up really, really bad. It didn't go away for like two weeks. It felt like you had a big cut and someone was pouring hydrogen peroxide on it. These beautiful creatures of the sea are extremely delicate and fragile, but they also have a venomous sting. Their long tentacles are ruffled with millions of stinging cells, each containing coiled threads, which explode into their victims like harpoons, impaling themselves in the flesh. Up until now, there has been no easy means of stopping them stinging, but help may be at hand. This may look like an ordinary sunscreen, but what's different about it is that it not only protects you against the sun, but it also claims to protect you against being stung by jellyfish, some of which lurk in the waters out there. The Birch Aquarium in San Diego is one of the leading ocean conservation centers in the world, and it's where they breed jellyfish in captivity, including these moon jellyfish. It's the perfect place to test out the cream. And here specially to do the test is the inventor, marine biologist Dr. Amit Lotan from Israel. He spent the last 13 years developing this product with the hope of making the sea a safer place for people to swim in. His new cream battles against jellyfish stings on a number of fronts. As a first line of defense, its slippery texture makes it difficult for the stinging tentacles to get a grip. Then the cream absorbs secretions from the skin, which would otherwise tell the jellyfish that it's in contact with prey. Chemical blockers in the cream bung up the sites where the stinging process is activated. And on the final front, pressure in the stinging cells, which normally propels the harpoon threads into the victim, is reduced so that the stings cannot be fired. Dr. Lotan is so confident that his cream works that he's now going to do what most of us would not dream of doing, immerse his hand in a tank of stinging jellyfish. If his cream does not work, he could suffer agonizing pain. With the cream rubbed well into his arm, first he's going to dunk it in a bucket of water for half an hour. Our test to make sure it doesn't wash off too easily. Awaiting Dr. Lotan in the tank are two venomous sea nettle jellyfish, well known for their painful sting. All Dr. Lotan has to do is keep his hand in with them for up to five minutes. Are you nervous about doing the test? Always. It's a poisonous animal. We have to remember it. The half an hour is up now, and it's time for Dr. Lotan to plunge his hand in with the stinging jellyfish. Okay, you just put that down there. Okay, if you could just put your arm in the tank. Is it okay? Oh my goodness, it's coming to you. Oh boy. Is yes. it okay? Yeah, it's okay. Minutes later, and he's still not too phased. But has he been stung? If it was being stung, then probably I will feel a lot of pain and inflammation will occur. Five minutes are up. Time for Dr. Lotan to show us his hand. So, has he been stung? Your arm seems to be fine. Yeah, it, it was kind of very severe contact between jellyfish and uh, hands. I mean, you had to usually, wrap it in it. Yes. <laughs> Now for the final test, I'm going to have a go. I can't believe I'm doing this. In I go. I've had it on for 10 minutes. And here it comes. Ah, the swimming bike for me. Ah, oh my goodness me. It's, oh, it's brushing like this. Would that be singing me if I could feel that? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh wow, that is amazing. I'm, I'm moving away from it. I'm being ultra cautious. 
that is absolutely amazing. I didn't feel a thing, except that the water was very, very cold. So my arm and the jellyfish live to fight another day. So far, the cream has only been tested on 10 species of jellyfish, and there are about 300 varieties out there. The next step is to see if it works against the deadly Portuguese man-of-war and box jellyfish, rather than the me.